Welcome to Aimpoint Hunts the Globe 4. My name is Rob Fickling and I'm the presenter of the Australian hunting television series Beyond the Divide. Once again I'll be the host on this trip where I join the team from Aimpoint Sweden made up of former world's strongest man Magnus Samuelsson, his brother Torbjorn Samuelsson and Aimpoint's marketing director Eric Jepsen. This time we're across the Tasman in one of my favourite hunting playgrounds, New Zealand. And over the coming episodes, we'll be taking on an epic hunt for multiple species covering big game, small game and waterfowl across both the North and South Island. Helping us out would be guides Dave Ryan and Roger James. And our fifth episode has us on the North Island starting our first stalk for red deer. Magnus and Eric, together with the property owner Alistair, headed out on first light to look over some likely looking fringe country. After seeing some good sign, they moved up high and Eric's keen eyes picked up on an animal feeding out in a nearby gully head. He didn't waste any time and moved straight in for the shot. Eric's bullet placement was perfect, killing the deer instantly with one shot. The young spiker was in excellent condition and would make prime venison, so Alistair introduced the boys from Sweden to a local NZ ritual, being the backpack carryout. This simply involves field dressing animals so their legs are linked to form a backpack. From then on, it's all muscle and all hard work. Magnus was well and truly up to the task and he lugged it out to the top of the hill, working up a nice sweat on the way. As the light dropped that afternoon, Magnus and Eric were back out looking over some of the farmer's crops that he'd noted were being grazed by unwelcome deer. It didn't take long for one of the troublemakers to appear heading in for an evening feed, so the guys got ready and tried to move in closer. A second animal now joined in on the free feed, but they got edgy and started to move off. As they moved up the bank and into the clear, Magnus set up for the shot. So this afternoon we went out hunting red deer and uh, we walked up on high ground glassing for a while and pretty early on detected this uh, spiker, waiting for him for hours but uh, he decided to stay in this area so we were probably like 1k away. We spent a lot of time trying to close the distance and then we came to a point where we couldn't get any closer, we were just wide open space between me and the game and 300 meters between us. All of a sudden he turned broadside so I took a shot at it and here he is. A really nice ending to a fantastic day. Uh, we're just uh, heading uh, just due south from Mount Rupayu on a fringe of a property that's uh, both beef and sheep. As you can see, prior to the earlier Europeans burned a lot of the uh, country off and so a lot of the gullies still hold a lot of uh, native. And in the native we have uh, over here red deer and fallow deer, predominantly red where we're going. A evening stalk uh, along the edge and see if we can pick something up. Also uh, for the farmers, they've, they've sow quite a bit of crop this time of year. so. The uh, deer absolutely love it, so it's also uh, beneficial for the farmer that we go down and have a look and see if we keep the numbers now. The weather that afternoon was magic, and Dave, Torbjorn, and myself set up high just below the ridge, glassing down into the valley. A mob of fallow were first to be seen, but after moving closer, they got around behind us and snuck out over the ridge. We contoured around further and the country was nice and open, but it worked both ways and we had to be cautious of being seen. Another small mixed mob of deer was spotted up ahead and it was made up of both fallow and reds. And Torbjorn singled out a red hind which would be perfect eating. Just like earlier with Alistair and Magnus, Dave was now keen to introduce Torbjorn to the NZ tradition of the backpack carryout. 
In steep country like this, the carryout was always going to be a mission. So this was a great first one for Torbjorn and an even better one for us to get out of. Uh, rightio, hey, it's like skinning a cat, there's 101 ways. Uh, this is my <laughs> way, so it's not the purest way, but hey, uh, we want to get this deer hole up out over there onto the track. First we're going to just whip the guts off, head off, and then we'll make it into a backpack. Uh. And I just try and make them even. Tilt the knife and hold it so it's against the bone. So we'll just open up the joint. Just to make it in the backpack, we poke that in. I just usually have it inside. And that one there. And then we have it. Yep. That's good. After reaching the vehicle, Dave headed back to the farmhouse with the hind. So with about an hour of light left, Torbjorn and I thought we'd sneak in one last stalk before dark. Some more fallow were spotted down on the gully floor, but we were looking for something a little closer. So we kept on moving along the spur, glassing off the edges. A prime young fallow was caught unaware and Torbjorn delivered a great clean shot to finish off the afternoon's hunting in style. That evening back at the shearers quarters where we were staying, we were planning a big cook up of fresh venison and on the menu tonight was Red Deer Backstrap. This crop down here behind me has been pulling quite a few deer out of this patch of native scrub, the beech trees. I've been speaking to the farmer here. He suggested this was a red hot spot to start. Just on light, just on first light, we're sitting in the crop glassing back. Greg cameraman picked up a big bodied stag moving through. We saw a couple more. We've had to come around to get our wind right. The wind's coming this way behind me. We've hooked around. We're going to start working our way back through the fringe of this big area of beach. A little bit of glassing over this morning out on the fringes where the deer are feeding. And then it's into the bush to just stalk them through. Look out for more adventures in this series of Aimpoint Hunts the Globe 4. Coming up next, it's episode 6. The deer hunting continues, plus we're off stalking wild goats on the North Island. 